Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to like make an NPC or pretty much anything with a humanoid move to a um, different location. And yeah, I'm still a bit sick, so I might sound a little weird. But like, for example, a humanoid move. Why am I stuff brown and smooth? Okay, I don't know. So let's just say we have one part here and we want an um, NPC to move from this part to over here or something. You can easily do that. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. Also, please give me any suggestion you want in the comments. Literally anything. If I don't know what it is, I'll figure it out and I'll make you the video. Like, please, because I'm... Um, my my mind is going dry on ideas. It's weird. Okay. Um. So let's get started. Well, the first thing we're gonna need is our actual like character or NPC. I don't have one, so um, what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna put in a zombie because I know Roblox. Yeah, this one made by Roblox. Just gonna put that in the game. Close that. We got. A uh, little zombie man. Um, I don't want him to kill us, so I guess I'm just gonna remove what's the damage script. No, I'm not gonna read that. So remove any scripts inside of it that is gonna damage it or, or damage the player. Cause I'm gonna keep this. So when you got your little dummy guy, you can either put a part at the location you want him to move to. So let's say you want him to move to a part r like right here because like you have like a checkpoint over here and you're just going to name this checkpoint. What you do is in in your NPC, I'm going to move him over here. I'm just going to move him all the way back here. In your NPC, press the plus, insert a script, rename the script to move I guess or do whatever you want with it. No, local humanoid equals script. Actually, let's do local zomb or well, whatever you want. I'm just gonna do local zombie equals script dot parent zombie dot humanoid move to and then game dot workspace dot checkpoint. So this is making a variable called zombie and assigning it to the script's parent. A parent is like whatever is this is inside of so this is inside of the zombie so that's what the parent is now inside of the zombie there's something called a humanoid now if you want to move it this way which is the way i'm going to be demonstrating in this video you want the the npc or character in your game to have a humanoid so because oh yeah if you see here if you remove the humanoid point it pretty much removes every attribute of the actual mob because the humanoid configures most of the data like the health, the name display, the walk speed, the jump power. So if you want it to move according to that, then make sure you have a humanoid pretty much. Just just make sure. And then move to is part of the actual studio which is very convenient because it literally just forces the humanoid to walk to whatever the location is of another object and i'm just gonna do dot position i actually don't know if you have to do that i kind of forgot but game not workspace is a service inside of the game which is right here and then we're gonna get checkpoint this is like the same as doing game get service workspace wait for child position or checkpoint dot position Oh yeah, the reason why I'm just gonna put this in here. The reason why people do stuff like getting the service and waiting for child is because sometimes something isn't already in the game as soon as it loads. Especially if you're doing stuff on the client, you don't know how slow the person's computer is, so you don't know when it actually loads for that person. Like the game might load before anything else in the game actually loads, like the models and assets. So this just waits for the child to be added, and the child is just whatever's inside of it. So this just waits for something to actually be added into the game and whatever specific. And then this is just getting a service from the game. So let's hit the play. Let's watch him move over to the part. 
part unless we're not meant to add that position where 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 I put him again. Oh yeah, look. As you can see, he's taking a sweet time. We can walk in front of him. Oh, hey. You. Excuse me, but you're meant to keep going. Okay, well he didn't want he didn't like me standing in front of him. Let's just restart that. And just look at him go. Oh, I just realized something. Oh, okay, so, okay, never mind, good. Well, he doesn't want to walk all the way to it, but that's his, that's his problem. So, um, yeah, as you can see, he is walking towards it. I'm just going to bring him closer. And there you go. And then he stops as soon as he gets to the part. So, um, as you can see, that's how you can make a move. And this can be pretty cool for stuff like, here, let's do an example. Um, let's say, I'm going to do a local script, which isn't a good idea if you're making, if you're making a game, like what I'm trying to show, don't use a local script for this, use like, events or remotes or something just don't use a local script alone because it's not a good idea but i'm just trying to get local player quicker because um yeah there that character that human part that position but it's pretty much this can be useful for like those story games where pretty much the the little NPC guy walks towards you, except you might have to do some type of loop or something. This is the position, C frame position. Yeah, well, we should probably do game player wait for child. Wait, what happened before? Player up character. Wait for child human root part. Yeah, this is another case where we're gonna be using this. Sorry for extending this video. You probably could have clicked off by now. But I'm just gonna do a little loop. Just to see if I could demonstrate. If I can't, I'm just giving you an idea of what you could use a script for. He's not moving because he's weird, so that's very nice. But, yep, so, oh, I guess we could put this inside of GUI. That's pretty much something that you can do with these scripts. That's something convenient you can use it for, like those quests where the NPC follows you. So yeah, you can do whatever you'd like with this, and I hope this video is helpful. Sorry for this little extra part. I was just trying to demonstrate, but uh, now he's social distancing from me. Well, this is kind of the opposite of what I wanted. But um, yeah, you get the point. As you can see, when I get closer to him, he walks away, which is not what I wanted to happen. But it did happen. So, yeah, hopefully this video helped you or hopefully you enjoyed. Sorry for carrying out the video so much. I don't know why it's walking. But, yeah, see ya.